Hey y'all, welcome to episode two of The Haven at Home. I'm super glad that you're joining us again. Today our focus is gonna be clay, so you can look forward to lots of activities and lessons around clay. So see you there. So for today's lesson, I brought in something that should be familiar to, all, to you all. It's Play-Doh. If you were to try to describe Play-Doh to someone who'd never seen it before, what words would you use? I would choose soft, smooth, maybe even squishy. And something that you can change the shape of really easily. You can pat it out or roll it back into a ball like I had it earlier. You can make all sorts of shapes and objects with it. So there's this other substance that's kind of like Play-Doh. It's called clay. Clay is used to make and do all kinds of things. It can be made into bowls or mugs or plates, all the way to like creative art pieces and sculptures. So I think of it, when we go through hard times and challenges, it helps me to think of it as God shaping us or forming us, just like we do Play-Doh. When we shape clay into things like bowls and mugs, they become more useful and effective for us. The same is true for us as people when we experience things. Whether they're good or bad, we learn about the world around us and how God is at work in it. So let's remember that no matter when good things or bad things happen to us, God is using them to shape us and form us because he loves us so much. Let's stay soft and squishy and open to God and his work that he's doing through our lives. Awesome. So now we're going to head to the Bible corner, and maybe later we'll get to make some of this awesome Play-Doh. See you in a bit. Unfortunately, the Bible doesn't talk a lot about Play-Doh, but it does talk about clay. Of course, that's because it's a common material that people use in Bible times. They used it in much the same way we do, to make jugs, pots, dishes, and other things to eat out of. So let's hear what the Bible has to say about clay, from Isaiah 64, verse 8. Yet, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are the potter. We are all the work of your hand. So a potter is somebody who makes things from clay. So it's saying that God makes us and forms us, just like we talked about earlier. So why do you think that God calls us clay and not like rocks or bricks? That's something that's already made. So pause the video now and talk about that with your family. I think it's because God is constantly molding us and changing us. He wants us to be more like Jesus, so he's always in the process of making us like him. He's teaching us, he's discipling us, he puts people and happenings in our lives to mold us. So even when bad things happen to us and those around us, God is using those times to change us, shape us, and to teach us things that we'll use later on. And I think that's a beautiful thing because it reminds me that he's never done changing us and always helping us grow closer to him. So that's all for the Bible Corner. Now let's head over to Caitlin for the Music Minute. Hey guys, so for music today, we're going to do a bit of a listening game with some instruments. So I'm going to play the sound of an instrument and you are going to guess what it is. We have four options today. It can either be a flute, a guitar, a violin, or a piano. So the words will be on the screen so you don't forget. So you're going to have to choose from those four each time and figure out which one it is just by listening to the sound. All right, let's do our first one. Can you guess what that is? If you guessed a violin, you're right. Good job. All right, now the next one. What does that sound like? All right, if you guessed guitar, you're correct. Let's look at the next one. What instrument is this? If you guessed piano, you're right. And number four, it's our last one. Which word do we have left? Let's see. If you guessed flute for that one, you're correct. Good job, guys. Now, next week, it's going to get a little bit harder, so be ready. Bye. 
Hey y'all, for our craft today, we're gonna be making some Play-Doh at home. It's gonna be pretty awesome, I think. Uh, Justin's gonna help me out again today with the craft. So, the things that you're gonna need are some all-purpose flour, some salt, a little bit of cream of tartar, that's not necessary, it just helps it last a little longer, uh, water, and vegetable oil. And if you wanna make it super special, you can add some food coloring. We're gonna make ours blue, I think. So, we're gonna go on down to Justin, and we're gonna help him mix this up for us. So we scaled up a little bit the recipe that you'll see in the video because so we could have a little bit more to play with because we're big Play-Doh people over here. Of course. So first you're going to put the flour. Yes, nice. And then the salt. Okay. And then the cream of tartar. Again, that's not necessary just for longevity. You're going to mix all that together. Yes, we did sanitize before this. Yep. We took the proper precautions. You're gonna have to tell me when I'm good, but I think that looks pretty good to me. All right. And then <laughs> we add the food coloring to the water. Oh no. Here, I can do it. <laughs> Just a little bit in here to make it a little blue. Here we go. Okay, nice and stir that in. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a sweet blue color. Yeah, it's going to look great on the Play-Doh. <laughs> Alright, I think that's good. And right. then, oh wait, do I have to put that in? Yeah, to put the vegetable oil in there. Then this one or this one? Uh, in the bowl is fine. The, which this, bowl? The big bowl. Oh. Big bowl. <laughs> and then the water too. And I'll get you some flour so we can put it over here. Ah, uh, it's going to be... It's gonna be messy. We're going in. Use the spoon for that. Nice, all right, we're back. So we're gonna dump the a ball here into a little bit of flour, sort of knead it around. And then what we have here is some homemade Play-Doh. Looks great, feels great. Awesome craft today, guys. All right, see you in a little bit. <laughs> Hello, children. I hope you guys are having a safe and wonderful week. Today, we're gonna be playing a super fun game called Play-Doh Pictionary. And all you need is Play-Doh. The directions are very simple. I'm gonna give you a word, and with your Play-Doh, I want you to make that word. So for example, if I said dog, you would make a dog out of your Play-Doh. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I want you to make is a snake. Feel free to pause the video while you make your snake. Wow, I bet you made an awesome snake. Okay, the next thing I want you to make is a bowl, like a bowl you eat out of. Feel free to pause the video. great bowl. In the Bible, God says that we are all clay and that he has molded us in his image just as you have molded these items. Let us know in the comment section down below who made the best snake and the best bowl. Thank you all so much for joining me in Rec. I will see you again soon. Be safe. Back to you, Caleb. Hey, you all. I hope you enjoyed today as much as I did. We got messy and made some Play-Doh. We learned about Jesus and how he's always shaping us and forming us into the best version of ourselves. So now to end it, I'm going to pass it to Anna Jo. Uh, she's going to pray us out, but always remember, stay squishy. So I'm going to pray now, and let's go. Dear God, just thank you for these wonderful days that we're having. Just watch over us and keep us safe. And I know that in this time, there can be some hard things that we have to go through and some challenges, but also know that there are good things happening and good things to come. 
um, watch over each and every one of these kiddos and just never pray. Amen.